Alright, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, he oh you. shit. Oh. 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 Whoa. They both shift equally poor. Yeah! Take <laughs> out, friend. We're doing 50. <laughs> It's the worst street race ever. Oh, traffic! <laughs> oh my god! That was it. That was, best, that was the most intense street race of my whole life. We that did 65. That was the most intense race ever. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that guy's like, damn, those guys are real. They do throw the hazards on. <laughs> Run it back! <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a blast. Oh, a oh, scanner? Jesus. <laughs> Casey's got a cop scanner in this thing. <laughs> it's hardly a street race, you didn't break the speed limit. That's true. I, did I, did, I didn't even street race. I was, just, I was just driving on it. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Hey man, quote of the day, huh? Quote of the day. George, come on, man, yo. Quote of the day. Yeah, dude, let's go, man. Hey. Whoa. You can't walk around with the chickens and expect to soar with the bald eagles. <laughs> what a guy. But damn, that's... it's about to be a good LS fest. Jeez. What's up, guys? We ready so, to do this? I think so. We got the centipede here. You can hear bald eagles in the air. We are out of LS fest. So guys, over here we have, you'll see the 240, the guy with the mullet, which is good, have around. We got Leroy, and uh, it's test and tune right now, and there's one qualifying pass tonight. Is that correct? Yes. Round one qualifying James is, today. Yeah, James is in the stock block class, which means you gotta have a stock LS block, which his is a factory block, kind of like Six Ruby. Liter. Six liter. So he's in that class. It is eighth mile. Eighth mile, heads up. Yep, Leroy is in his usual Monster Clutches stick shift class. That should be freaking fun. Really hoping to run some sevens for you guys. So it's been a long time. I gotta break back into the sevens, get over that hurdle, and have some freaking awesome passes today. So we just we basically have testing to figure out both cars today, and then hopefully we can hit our round one qualifier tonight super hard and be in really good shape for the rest of the weekend. So let's freaking do this. You know what they say about round one ball fun, it sets the pace for the race. It set the pace, baby. Come on. How many years have we been coming to this now? Four. Four years. Yeah. That's pretty, it's like our, one of our longest running races we've done. Kind of crazy. Four years. Yeah. The first one we ever went to, Cooper and I were hanging out at his house. We were just hanging out at his house, and uh, I think I got class canceled or something because of a storm. Yep. And I was like, oh man, so LS Fest. I was like, let's go. So we ran a U-Haul trailer and put my C7 on it. Cooper and I bombed up here at Drag Race. I think I ran like a 12 second pass. So now we're out here hoping to win this weekend in the stick class and the stock block cap and the stock block class. So let's freaking do this. Hell yeah, guys, LS Fest. Woo. I haven't been in the car in a while, but it's behind.
Leroy. We spun a little bit, but dude, good start. I think the clutch is holding great, dude. It's never felt oh. so smooth up top. It hazed the tires real hard. After I know. The track's real marginal right I now. I screwed that up. That was on me. I should have pedaled it, let it hook and go, but like I just rode the top of the tire. Well, it's kind of my bad. So the car is hot as can be. There's people in a Razor that stop in front of me in the road to take selfies in their car while I'm in Leroy. I'm like, man. I mean, you gotta have a brain. Like, the car is so right? hot. And I'm like, come on, man. I, I got my slip. I'm trying to get back to you guys. They they slow down, cut me off, get in front of me, and are taking selfies. I'm like, dude, what has, what has this world come to? Is the horn still burnt out? Dude, I was. Ugh, the horn doesn't really sound the greatest. I mean, we could try her. I know it was burnt out last time you tried it. She's back. Nice. They came back She's around. Back. <laughs> All right, James is up. Yeah, I'm up. You got this, James. Just like in Ruby. That 330 is probably serious. That was the first full pass. Well, he actually lifted early because yeah. he did a plug read, but that was the first successful run we've ever seen James that make. That 330 is probably pretty fast. Dude, that thing was on a. He let off and went 5'5. Five, five. Yeah. That's a new Holly carb. He's got Texas Speed new Texas intake, Speed, heads, new heads, and, and headers. Intake. Hold on, so he's got new, new headers, new Texas Speed heads, new Texas Speed intake, new Holly carb, and he put it all together and it just yeah. came together right there. I don't know how you got 125, wow. 60 foot. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. How did you find it in you to lift? Dude, I didn't want to. I was like, Ugh! and I was like, yeah. I got it. So, so the reason he lifted is because he's doing a plug check and you don't want to run a nitrous car all the way out first pass because the tune up's wrong. It's yeah. like, even if you're the off car's a half hands a degree, the it'll start melting straps off the of plugs and then it starts melting valves and all kinds of new heads. First time out with them, I didn't want to go melting stuff That's already. That's sick, dude, with yeah. all the new parts and all like first trip, dude. So we went the same eight mile ET, but I went 43 miles an hour. Yeah, I went 99. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. Yeah. That would have been a freaking rip. Yeah. 99 mile an hour to the eighth. You got yourself like a 10 second car. <laughs> Dude, I, Congratulations. If they had a quarter mile clock out, it probably would have rolled to a nine something. Oh, uh, it's probably rolled. an eight. The car, sure, the car has rolled to an 870 before in the quarter. Oh, dude, at eight. It was cooking. So. I, I was like, oh, he's not going to lift. And then he lifted. I was like, how did how did you buy the self discipline? It took every lift. ounce of me. The thing that really got me, I was like, man, I don't want to lift. And I was like, new heads, new heads, new heads. Oh, all right, fine. That's true. That's true. We would, have to steal, all hiked up. we would have to steal the Texas Speed display head. I would have been taking the display heads for sure. 100%. Good to know that those axles can hold a 125. Dude, I told you I'd figure it out. Some, that's the fastest Hey, don't yet. change a thing. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to leave the tune-up alone. Nobody let them touch it. Change if all the plugs thing. look good, I'm leaving the tune-up alone, and I'm going to run it out the back and see what it does. Yeah. And then, if anything, 
the timing's way conservative up top, so I'll just trickle in the timing from the 330 on to get more ET and mile an hour out of it. But. All right. All right, guys, so we're over at this thing where you have to bolt up. It's like valve covers, manifolds, intake, intake elbow, and some coil packs, all that stuff to an LS, and it's a competition. So Cooper and I are about to 1v1, brother. You think you got this or what? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, it's going down. Yeah. We're not letting James participate because he's a cheater. Yeah. He's done too many LSs. Not leader. allowed. Exactly. Right, ready? Look at him. He's all over now. He's loose. Okay, so are we ready with the timers? Yes, sir. Okay, are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? I need you to help me count down from five. Okay, oh, ready? Oh, sir. Oh, I like that. No, we shouldn't do that. Okay. Hands five, on the head. Four, three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. Wow. Competition. All flying and everything. Go. <laughs> two. Going with the headers first over here. Is that your strategy? Get the headers on there first? Yep. Because they fight you the most? <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, Cooper's over here going with the valley cover first. Bro, see, there's a speed handle in this toolbox. Going with the valley cover first. He's over there putting headers on. Well, I don't want to get any stuff in my valley here. Oh, a smart man. Okay. There you go. Look at those speedy Ooh, at hands. That. The My fine Jesus. ratchet action going on there. Look at that. Are those the fastest hands Dude. south of the Mason Dixon? Barely fits in there. Wow. Let's go back wow. over here see how okay. Cooper's doing. How are you doing over here? Uh-oh, he dropped the bolt. Oh, but you already have a single part in. Now, mind you, the rule said that all the yeah. bolt heads have to be down. So yep. you don't have that yet, but I understand. You go back for that afterwards. I'm trying to do everything by hand first until I can break out the tools and Ooh. hopefully have use in Cool. Yeah. yeah. I like it. So I like it. Oh, yeah. I like that <laughs> You have one more full part on than him at the moment. He's okay, only got so eight heads. So you got this whole header tied, right? Yes. That one's for a long time, too, working with Cletus. Yeah. That is just probably you got not this the one best financial done. move in the long term. Yeah. Off, I like this. Two different strategies going on. We'll see which okay, one prevails at the end. One. You're at... Wow, you're only four yeah, minutes into this rocks. race. I like that. Four that's minutes in, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I like how the intake has the fuel rails on, so it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to bolt it in. Ah. So, go check on old Cooper, see how he's... Oh, yeah, so he's got... Go yeah, but I, I made a mistake that I... You got it? They go under your They do go under... Oh, there's a space to, so there's spacers for underneath the coils. I made a mistake though. What'd you do? I don't want to you admit did. yet. What? If you look at this side header and the two bolts, it has to come back off so that I can flip the gasket. Ah. No. Well, did you bring your pocket hacksaw? You can just put the heads of the bolt. like a tap. <laughs> He's got this gasket on upside down on the wrong side of the motor. So these holes are blocked. Tighten down an intake on this rig. Okay, so he's so got headers on, got alley headers cover, so there's nothing that's intake. Are the headers on and no tight? Rockers, no rockers, no rockers. No rockers. The headers are on and tight, the intake is on and tight, the valley cover, whoa, dude, he made a big move over here. Yeah, he's working on the valve covers now. He's not like as far in some aspects. It's pretty like, yeah, it's pretty neck and neck at the moment. I think the only thing that might get you is that gasket being backwards. I think that's a good strategy using that over the latchet. It's quicker, I think. Yeah. Because, you know, with that, you just got to give it that quarter turn to seat the bolt, and then that's it. Next one, you know? <laughs> See, but right now, Cooper's, the headers are the bad part, because Cooper has not gone back to those. You know, and he's got the well, gasket issue. This is all he's got left is a throttle body. Let's see if Cooper's going to catch up on this. Are you surprised at how good he's done? He's, I mean, with his bum finger and everything, you know? How do you hurt the finger that way? You don't want to know. Like, I'm using a razor blade as a pry bar. You were using a razor blade as a pry bar. Now it's right. Yeah, we've all done that. Cooper's talking about modifying the, the gasket mistake over it's here. Stainless is the problem. Because if it wasn't, you could probably. If it was an old paper gasket, you could stick that right yes, through it. I mean, seriously, jam a needle nose down would be good. But it's a stainless gasket. 
I think I'm done. Okay. Call it. Time. 21 minutes, 17 seconds. Okay, let's hear it for Cletus. Woo! I don't think he's going to be there. I don't think he's going to be there. I was quick and thorough and efficient. What do you got, Ben? Pretty much this in that header. Yeah. Not too far behind. Shout out to Cooper. Let's give a round to Cooper. <laughs> that olive oil skin. I need a shout out to my golden retriever, Holly. You know, she lets it rip. So, and, and then James, you know, good guy here. So, that's it though. Thanks. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we checked logs. Everything looks good. James did a plug change. Leroy is just, you know, he's ready to rip. So about to line back up here in a little bit. They're running some other classes right now. And we'll freaking rip. But for now, we're opening up the booth. We're going to uh, sell some shirts and some straw hats. Have some fun. <laughs> show you something here real quick that I picked up on so you can see in the beginning of the pole I was spinning like crazy I was all over the rev limiter but then when I got in second gear I kind of heard something weird at the top of second gear and when I switched to third I heard all sorts of craziness so I let out you can see in our EGTs which is our individual exhaust temperature uh, right here you can see cylinder six right here completely drops off on its own. So I go, so right before we raced, I was messing with that plug because I pulled it out to check it and I didn't push the plug wire back on all the way. So really screwed myself on that one. Even though it's a bad launch, there was no way I could have finished the pass because you can see cylinder six was like, I'm out. Kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. So hopefully we can get out on our first round qualifier and fix this up. All right, guys, excuse the extreme hat hair. On Cooper and I. Oh, mine's good. Actually, yours does look pretty normal. It's just <laughs> weird for a full day of wearing a hat. All right, guys, we are doing a challenge right now. 2v2 for 100 bucks. Cooper and I versus James and Nate. And, you know, we're, we're kind of at an advantage, though. You guys know that, right? We've done it once. Yeah, you can practice a little bit. But these guys, have, like, Nate has as much experience on an LS as James does, so. We've blown up our fair share. Yeah. As this a is like combination. Really good at tearing stuff apart. This is basically the like true mechanics versus Cooper and I were kind of like weekend mechanics, if that makes sense. So it's a good way to put it. We're gonna freaking do this for a hundred bucks, but we have experience on this exact setup. James watched, Dave watched. So hundred dollar bill. That's crisp one. <laughs> it's, it's crispy. Guy from Holly. So, all right, they're uh, they're tearing down the engines for us. It's gonna be the last one of the day before we do our last pass. So we'll see who takes the W. I'm gonna do the intake while he does the headers, and then I'll do the valve cover, valve, valley cover. If you don't get to it, okay. well, you gotta do the valley cover and then it. So you do. Well, I'm gonna do the intake on the table. Okay, okay, okay. I like. It. All right. Yeah. So, so you're gonna start the intake. I'm gonna do the manifold, yep. and then we'll do valley cover. Uh, valve covers intake should be done with that one. Yes, that is that is complete. Huh. Oh, see, they're playing it too. Uh, well, yeah, we got plan. Is there a plan over here? Oh, Kick that plan. table over. Yeah. Ready, <laughs> set, boom! <laughs> Put the hundred dollar bill right here under the straw hat. All right, there she is. Three, two, one, go! go.
Choke under pressure, James. I'm good over here. I'm calling the collective like a damn cucumber. <laughs> You're not panicking over there, are you? Well, I'm over here tied down to the intake. What are you doing? Uh, I just do some valve covers. Okay. Don't blow my head or talk away, you. Hey. That was like 10 minutes ago for me. Sir, can we get a nut bolt check over there? Official. Official. He's on my scene. Cooper and I have secured the, the bill. James is tightening down the valve cover. Literally got two bolts left. <laughs> you get this manifold. Dude, your, your mistake is putting the valve covers on before the manifolds. This just proves Cooper and I are higher skilled mechanics than James. That's <laughs> fine, <laughs> I get paid by the hour. <laughs> and brake stuff. Hey, you know, better luck next time, you know. <laughs> oh, that's loose. Oh, there, this one's oh, loose. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, well, back to racing. By there. So you're just you doing your one qualifying yeah. hit tonight? Yeah, you see, nitrous cars are past limited, as they like to call them. Yeah. So made a good 330 rip and got all the data I needed to establish a clean tune-up. Okay. So this pass will be out the eighth if it takes the hit. Yeah. Left the tune-up below nitrous wise. So. Yeehaw. So we both kind of had a little bit of spark. You burnt one strap off a plug? A uh, half a strap on one plug. I got half a strap. Half of this cylinder likes to run hotter than the rest. Yeah. It always gets picked on. And uh, it was that one. So well, I had, had some time. I had a little know. bit of dirty plugs too. Yeah. So, so we, we were both have fresh shit. I got a fresh set. Yeah. I pulled out two degrees and should go down cool. Broadway now. So we both got fresh plugs and we're ready to rip. Yeah, good. Round one qualifying LS Fest day one. Yeah. Let's go do it. Need to get Leroy 60 foot in my like tattoo board. I know. Shape. Give me that one, two, five. I'm going like 750. Come on. <laughs> so guys, right now we're racing Jared Kokenberger C5, which he's the current GM six shift world record holder. If you guys remember, we went 782. It was actually a 7.826 or something like that. Jared went 7.820. So that's how similar these cars are. We were like, hey brother, let's just run it in the qualifying for fun. So we're just gonna race. Have fun, maybe do a couple races in the other qualifying students. Having a darn good time here at LS Fest, so we'll see what we can do here. Looking in back there, look at how cool he looks. His hey, Jared! Hat. Jared! That's the guy right there. Look at him. Here oh, comes. he's coming over. Oh, he looks like he's in the Backstreet Boys. Ah. <laughs> he's my hero. Hey, man, how you doing? Good, you? Doing really good. Can you tell us about your whip? I mean, it's pretty slow. You also, it's a twin turbo C5, you can barely right. tell the difference. Yeah. His is just a Z06, that's the only difference. Uh, oh, yeah. 427, I, I got like a base yours, model. Right? Yeah, we're both twin turbs key. Yep. Uh, black Corvettes, C5s, same 427. Clutch, same rear end, same yep. trans. Same clutch. Same yeah, rear. yeah. That's true. He's a better driver. Now, you're a better driver. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh. I'm going to be sick. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to puke. <laughs> he does have a faster time than me by uh, 3,000. So I mean, six, I've, 5, 000, so. I've got quite a bit out of mine, and I think you do too. So, I don't know. Whoever, yeah, the, the, track, gets down this the track has been pretty savage today. There's so. been a lot of people that go down today. Yeah. We're excited to race, man. Love your yes. car. Yep. Love you. It's going to be a blast. Oh, Probably be slow. You guys are so gooey. Yes. Is there anybody else you care to talk to? or you want to give a shout out to anybody? Well, man. Who, me? Yeah. 
Brian Tooley Racing. Shout uh, out to BPM. Our boys at Monster Clutch. Yeah. Um, RPM Transmission. RPM Transmissions, hell yeah. Altec, ECUs. My shop, Race Proven Performance. Race Proven Performance. Yeah. If you want to um, go sevens. Effing Kyle. Oh, Effing yeah, Kyle, yeah. your buddy Effing Kyle. <laughs> Guy's a dirt bag. Where's he at? Yeah, he's right over there. Short tuning, James Short. Yep. So there you go. Great dudes. All right. Let's do it. Let's give a hand for Black C5s and all. Yeah. <laughs> They're great cars. Yeah. Uh, guys, let's have some fun, man. Sketchy. Dude, talking about like the worst side by side pass. Like, we, we when you hold went fast, but it was terrifying. Yeah, dude, he went 10 standard. mile an hour faster. Dude, when I got into fourth gear, they'll see it on my helmet cam, like popping and banging, like fire. Wasn't happy. A filter came off of the catch can, so there's oil spraying on the exhaust. But I looked at the oil pressure, I glanced at it, and I was like, we're good. Rolled out, just made the move. Oh, so. here, but, uh, the damage is here. Yeah, that's what looked like a fire from yeah. over there. So look at, this, look at this. So this somehow caught on here, and it just yanked the whole bracket. Yeah, I mean it definitely bent your bracket. <laughs> oh, it broke the whole tail light. Dude, it, it cooked it. Yeah, these are the original Leroy tail lights. Yeah, my lens is gone. Yep, Damn. your bulb is gone. It looked like it was on fire. Well, it did because this light was like bouncing around, and it yeah. was like a white. It was like a yellow light instead of. Yeah. Uh, like red all in all though eight two for the qualifier i mean could yeah. be worse we're gonna shave is james about to run you left really weird yeah james yeah, is, i think he's right up there it fell on its face it was just like whoa and i was like oh no yeah and, but luckily the 68 it spools up so fast and it just got back into it and went and i was yeah i was like yes and i yeah, just you're able to recover got it on sure. it just rode it out i poked the scramble button in fourth but Blew the spark out on the plugs for sure. So, all right, well, let's go watch James race. Let's go watch. Yes. Dude, 29. Well, that thing, got, bought, dude, I thought the car shut off. He bogged so hard. I know, I, I know. The 240 is ready to bog. Yeah, I mean, it looks it. <laughs> Plasti oh, dips never look so does. clean. Are these the same axles? Yeah. Okay. Not broken yet. So, uh, well, these are the ones. They've been in there for like 14 passes now. These are the ones. Knock on wood. They got a lemon. <laughs> ones that hold These up. These might be some lemons, but they're my kind of lemons. <laughs> the good kind. Okay, so obviously you guys all know James is a huge ricer, right? He's got a Nissan 240, but what you didn't know is that he's this level of ricer. Open this gas tank up. Boom. Uh -huh. Under glow. <laughs> Does it change color? Do you have the remote on the dash? Yeah, dude. How There's many colors you got in this it's thing? It's only white, okay? Uh, <laughs> Oh man, should we leave it on? I think you should have it on for the pass. James, can we leave it on for your pass? Turn it off for now, but. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll turn it back on before like it runs. A D battery in here, you know, James, yeah. big reduction. <laughs> <laughs>
candles the whole way. Five, three. What a great pass for Dave. Yeah, he won that off the tree. Five, thirty, one. Five. so I can get a good plug reading. Oh, nice. Dude, what a rip. Bro, great pass. Well, we long. took, well, I took two degrees out of the entire timing path. Yeah. So it slowed down to the 60 foot. Still Four numbers, but still went, a, still went a 531 at 133, which That's is really good. That's almost your best, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, so, and you know, I cut a better tree than the guy next to me, so if that was elimination. Dude, the 240 was faster. camera shy up until today. Dude, it, it came out of its shell. You know, it's, <laughs> it's just out here bogging. Dude, hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're super stoked about how LS Fest Day One has gone. Very exciting stuff. That is it for today, though. More qualifying tomorrow, and then racing on Sunday. So, if you're in the Bowling Green, Kentucky area, come on out. But that is it for now. Thanks for watching, dude. For now, we will freaking see you later.